The campaign to improve water quality continues after testing in the Itchen estuary. I think it's disgusting that we have to worry about our health when we're using the waters that we swim in, that we surf in, that we love. Now, the quality of our water remains a pressing issue in the run-up to the election, but it's not one the politicians seem to have an answer for. Today, campaigners took to the Itchen estuary in Southampton, where the water can, at times, look a bit like, well, this. They admit the problem is complex and not simply the fault of water companies, as Sophia Seth reports. Lizzie has a small cut on her ankle, and this, is, this represents one of our concerns. Um, this sort of injury, if it's exposed to this river water, can lead to infection. Lizzie, how worried are you? You are a surfer. I mean, I think it's really worrying. I think it's disgusting that we have to worry about our health when we're using the waters that we swim in, that we surf in, that we love. Today, gathering by the River Itchen, local campaigners met members of the Surfers Against Sewage group who have been on their national tour. They all share the same message. No more sewage! When do we want it? Now! Over the past year, the group Friends of the Itchen Estuary have been sampling the water, taking 96 in total, and found high levels of E. coli. Some samples, they say, were 10 times higher than what would be regarded as satisfactory for bathing water quality. They're blaming the discharge from the neighbouring treatment works. Just behind me is the Portswood Wastewater Treatment Works. In a report by the Environment Agency, it says that the effluent quality needs to be improved as a matter of urgency. In its report, it talks about temporary changes while major upgrades are developed. We've brought forward an additional million pounds of investment this year uh, to improve both the odour is emitted from the site and the quality of the discharge from Portswood. We've done that working really closely with the Environment Agency and local government and communities in the area. Uh, and that's part of a much larger programme, which will include building more storm storage uh, and more uh, schemes to improve further the, or reduce further the level of releases that we make uh, from Portswood in the area. Who do you blame? So it's a combination, it's a complex issue. It really, really is. But, you know, there's been underinvestment, underverification, under-monitoring and lack of regulation from government, really. There's the the um, regulators and the Environment Agency and Ofwat have been stripped of the resources they need to do the job properly. So no one party is to blame, but it's a whole system that needs a big reboot. Campaigners are hoping that they'll put pressure on any future governments. What do we want? End pollution. When do we want it? Now. Sophia Seth, BBC South Today, Southampton.